Oh. Some extra oceans on that one. What are you doing? Now I'm putting mics on things. Where's my beer? Now what are you doing? Now I'm drinking some sneaky weasel. Mm -hmm. Freezer weasel. Freezer weasel. Freezer Fun weasel. Drink is... and to say. <laughs> All um, right. So what kind of head are you using? It's a Sobtech MiG 50H. What kind of head aren't you using? I'm not using the Trainer YBA Mod 1. Even though everyone on the internet tells me it's the greatest thing ever, but... I heard it's the bee's knees. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say. Um, <laughs> what cab are you using? It's a Marshall Whoa. 1960. <laughs> this is out of focus. <laughs> so it's a Marshall, or an Arsehole. Arsehole. 1960 A vintage, and it was Devin Townsend's cab. For non-Canadian viewers, will they know who that is? Oh yeah. What so about this Fender? Huh? What about this Fender? That's dead. These guitars? Yeah, that's a, it's an Amphiphone Les Paul Custom with a new headstock on it because this one's better. Mm -hmm. And it's got an EMG in it. And it's a Squire Classified. 50s um, Classified. But I painted it, so now it sounds better. Cool. Which one are you gonna play? Both. I'm gonna play the at the same time. Yeah. Do some of this. Yeah. This thing has too much zoom to see all of that, but we'll get in it. The method that I use for miking shit is I just go, yep, good enough. <laughs> for the RE20, this is like the best anything mic. You've done this enough times too. You kind of know where to start. Yeah. Yeah. I've recorded this cab a lot, so kind of know where. For the for the RE20, if you just kind of if this is the uh, cone. Ooh. Yeah. Cone hole. I mean, you just kind of put it, like the main bit of the mic pointing kind of around the edge of the, mm -hmm. the cap. It'll almost always sound good. And that'll be the majority of the sound. And then... Next. Oh. Well, it's very important to mic the head though, right? Yeah. See, all <laughs> the sound comes from here. <laughs> So, right. the head that you're not using is very crucial. Yeah, well that's where all the resonance comes from. Mm. So yep. I'm not using it in the conventional sense. <laughs> that's where you get your sweet, sweet tone. This is my secret tone. <laughs> this, is, this is how you get the heaviest guitar sound. Mm -hmm. That. Right. Off axis though, so you want to kind of get the lows and the mids. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah, you want to get a nice balance of those. So. Mm -hmm. Right there, right pointed kind of at the R. Yeah. For the R sound. So. Yeah. Make sure you set the uh, levels just right on the, the head. Yeah, there. you really got to watch your phasing. You don't want too much mid. You need some nice clarity with some with enough attack. See how shiny the grill is. <laughs> That'll help with that up, like upper mid sparkle. Right. Yeah. The key to that is having the amp die shortly after buying it. Yeah. Yeah. That keeps it sparkly and clean. <laughs> well, it preserves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeps its soul intact. What's this one? The AT something? Yeah, this is an AT2020, it's the large diaphragm condenser mic. I might actually just kind of face it that way. That me? Yeah. Then I'll just like vocalize back what I hear. <laughs> yeah. Dar, 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 dar. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in the kick drum. This kick drum? Yeah. Mm. Or in that one. Do you even need the stand at that point? No. This might be the stupidest thing ever. Holy shit, it works! Actually, this will probably be pretty good. There's gonna be a bunch of bands that are gonna start playing pretty soon. So. <laughs> All right. Face down. Okay. 
And then the most important thing about all of this is that you spend all this time thinking up reasons why you're putting the mics in certain spots, and then just record. Don't listen to it at all. Just no. The reason why I'm putting so many mics on it is because inevitably one of them is going to be fucking unusable, and I'm just not going to use it. So let's go. Confidence, man, you gotta have it. Mm, spacebar, control spacebar, or whatever. The shortcut for confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the camera got bored with you there. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. It's like, I'm just gonna focus on something else because oh. this is boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, left or right, Kyle? Mm, I think right. I think that one legitimately has a hole in it. Yep. And this, it actually isn't a joke because it does have a hole in it. It'll actually get some nice sizzle out of it. Who the fuck keeps calling me? Third time today. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Because of various companies, if you receive a call, we may call again. No shit. <laughs> okay, um, and then this one just pointed it or whatever. Okay. And then that. Hmm. Whoop. Plugged in. Not dealing with that. That part's done. What do you do now? Freezer weasel? Weasel. In like 90s kids show <laughs> drink. Okay, um <laughs> so there's your pedal board. Good. That means it's working. That's our ocean effect for the intro. So, all right. So which, all of these pedals. Which ones do you use for this song? This one and this one. So this is the pitchfork. Mm -hmm. um, that makes us not need a basis. Yes. A big part of the two piece band. Yeah. <laughs> and then the fuzz pedal. So, what then, kind of fuzz pedal is it? It's a ZVEX Fuzz Factory. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to use it because it sounded like, like garbage with another. I think the main thing was it sounded like shit with another guitar player, so. So, we got rid of him. Yeah. And now it sounds great. <laughs> The compressor is nice on it, and mm -hmm. I only have it the guitar volume like two on the guitar. So just before two. Then it'll at least. But pitchfork. I'm just using it as an octave, and you can also have it do a bunch of weird shit like. Nobody wants. Maybe that'll be useful for editing. I don't know. Yep. Cool. So the pros do it. <clears throat> and how long have your strings lasted now? With oh yeah. So what's the date today? Uh, uh, February, February third, maybe third or something. Fourth, maybe. These strings have been on here since September 1st of 2017. And it is now February 3rd, 2018. How many days is that? September, November, October, what? <laughs> More than one, two months. I'm going to say three. You got room here to throw a number up later. Yeah. 